Hello. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. Hi, how how are you? How is everybody doing today? Um, no, today was a common day. A common day. day. What does that mean? I I did uh the same thing that I usually do. Hmm. Okay. No special request. No meet without um, programs. Hmm. Just the usual I do. Okay. Okay. So is that a good thing or a not so good thing? Uh, it's a good thing. Yeah. The next week is another. <laughs> it's a difficult week. But this really? one was, yeah. But this one was an easy week. What, why is next week a difficult week? Um, because I have to send uh, decks so about um, progress in service levels, abandon, friction, and I have to send estimate about the invoice mm -hmm. and I have to send uh, something about absenteeism. About what? And absent. Absenteeism. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. mm. And the last one is uh, about old time. It's time that people have to work, but they don't work. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So for that reason, I have to do that just one week uh, before to the month's end. Mm -hmm. so that reason is a difficult week. Mm, I see. Wow. It sounds like you're you're going to be um, swamped with a lot of work. Do you, do you know? The word? Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Do you know that word? Swamped? No, no. No? Uh, no, no. So swamped means that when you're very, very busy with something, like, uh, you know, yeah, very. Can you write it? Yeah, so it's, okay, so it's an adjective. And mm -hmm. I'll write it in the chat. Okay, <clears throat> to be swamped. Swamped. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So it's it's. I'm telling you that it sounds like you're gonna be swamped for the next, the next week. It's synonymous like busy. You said why? Right? Yeah, but it's like not just busy. It's like very busy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. okay, so yeah, it's like, um, yeah, it's like, uh, yeah, extremely busy, let's say. Yeah, so. Mm -hmm. okay. okay, thank you. Good work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's actually, um, I would say like a intermediate higher level English. So definitely if you want to, if you want to sound a little bit more native, something that you might yeah. want to use. Mm -hmm. Use water. Yep. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, guys and girls, uh, welcome to today's class, our last day for this week. Uh, do you guys have any plans for the weekend? Yes. I will yeah. go to the uh, beach in La Unión. Oh. I think nice. Salvador and I will I will uh, travel to the La Unión. Oh. And I will 
out from here tomorrow at 4 a.m. You're going to leave at 4 a.m.? To be there in a meal maybe at 8 a.m. Wow. Yes. 4 a.m. To arrive there at 8 a.m. Mm-hmm. Yes. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And you're going to visit to my uncle. Oh, okay. So you have family there. You you yeah. have family in in yeah. in La Union. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, good, good. So I'm I'm happy that you will be with you know with family as well. So yeah, because it's always nice yeah. to be with your family. No, I'm with my wife <clears throat> and my three children. Mm hmm Oh, good. Yeah. Good. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, very good. Um, all right, guys and girls. So I'm going to be taking attendance right now. So if you could um just make sure um that your camera is on because um I see many people without the camera. So just let's open up the camera so that we can um take your attendance. Okay, so here we go. First one, uh, Ana Lorena Lovatoriana. Carlos Alberto Dominguez Martinez. Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda. Um, Carlos Mauricio Menjivar Caballero. Present teacher. Excellent, thank you. Eh, Edwin Antonio Quintero Somaña. Present teacher. Thank you. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present. Thank you. Eh, Ulises Torres Torres. Eh, Ulises Torres Torres. Eulice. Okay. Um, Iliana Rebeca Carpio Calderón. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Present, here. Thank you. Jose Bernardo López Montes. Jose Bernardo López Montes. Eh, Jose Carlos Argueta Romero. Present. Thank you. Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Present teacher. Thank you. Josman Atilio Serrano. I think he said he was going to connect later. <clears throat> Juan Carlos Herrera Delgado. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menéndez. Present teacher. Thank you. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Present teacher. Thank you. Mayra Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Osman Enrique Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Alexander Serna Díaz. Ricardo Ernesto Pérez Acosta. Ricardo Ernesto Pérez Acosta. Sandra Vigail Bonilla Cano. Present. 
Thank you. Sigfrido Ernesto Gómez Guinea. Present. Thank you. Wendy Maricela Ramirez Guevara. Present, teacher. Thank you. Mina Elizabeth Alvarenga Rivas. Irma Evelyn Rodríguez Torres. Amanda Leonela Zamora Miranda. Present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Antonio Magaña Monterrosa. Eduardo Antonio. Okay. All right, guys and girls, thank you for connecting on time. Um, so today we're going to be listening. Before we continue to our next topic, um, we have one presentation from yesterday pending, which was Carlos Alberto Dominguez and Mauricio Antonio Velasquez. Are you guys there? Carlos Antonio Velasquez? No? Carlos Antonio Velázquez? Mauricio Antonio, Ve sorry, Ma Carlos Alberto Domínguez y Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Mauricio no está tampoco? Hmm. Ok, ninguno de los dos. Ok, bueno, en este caso lo vamos a escuchar hasta que se conectan. Ok, so in that case. What we're going to do is we're going to um, start with the next topic. And um, I want to know if you are able to see my screen. So just please tell me <clears throat> if, uh, if you can see it. Can you guys see it? Yes, no? teacher. I am okay. able to see it. Yes, teacher. Okay, wonderful. All right, so um, here we're talking about managing crisis. So, oh no, hold on. No, 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 no. Oh, hold on, guys. That's not a good. In a second. Just a second, guys. Okay, now we got it. All right, um, please tell me if you can see my screen again. <clears throat> can you see it or no? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Yes, teacher. All right. Wonderful. So how would you define an inadequate crisis management plan? So we've already talked about a uh, management plan, what, what it looks like and what are the steps that you need to take. But what about an inadequate price, uh, crisis management plan? So do you understand what I mean by inadequate? Do you understand by that word inadequate? What do you understand by it? 
Inadecuado en Spanish, in Spanish teacher. Yeah, so, um, so what do you understand by inadequate? Like, like in English, obviously, like. Um, something that we have, that we don't have to say or do. Because it is not the moment, the right moment and neither the right uh, situation. Mm. Okay. You guys agree? Do you agree? Class? Everybody can give you their opinion. Do you, do you agree with that definition or do you not agree with that definition? Definition. For me, for me, teacher, inadequate uh, is like that. Not a good plan or not exactly for the for this uh, situation for example where i don't know uh, um uh, i talk about uh, i don't know for the financial crisis in a company mm -hmm. and the the inadequate crisis man management plan uh, maybe uh, this focus in other reason uh, is not uh, the this 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 uh, situation is not good for the your, <clears throat> your problem or your situation right exactly yeah so inadequate uh yes you said it's not good right why be why is not good a good crisis management plan because it's not the appropriate one. It's not sufficient. It's not, it's it's lacking something. It's not the appropriate uh, plan for that situation. Maybe for another situation it would be, but not for that one. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yeah? Everybody understands inadequate crisis management plan? Yes, teacher. Okay. So it's not necessarily that it's a bad plan. It could be a very good plan, but it's not a good plan for that particular situation. That's why it's inadequate, because it's not sufficient for that one. Maybe for another situation, it's more than than sufficient, but not for the for that particular plan. The other one says, uh, could a lack of communication cause a crisis management plan to fail in mitigating financial losses or for financial loss, sorry. So a lack of communication. All right, let's look at this word now. What does it mean lack? Similar to lose. Mm, not exactly. Uh, it is when you don't have some requirements. Kind of, kind of, yeah. So lack means that it's there's it's not sufficient. A, it's something is deficient, okay? It's not sufficient, therefore it's deficient, okay? It's not, a, it's missing something. So a lack of communication means that there's not enough communication, the communication is missing or good communication is missing, okay? 
All right, sounds good. Okay. Um, and what about this word right here? Um, what about the word mitigating? What do you understand by mitigate? Is like that uh, save or um, um I don't know uh, uh, suppliers or, or or save the the different things in this, in this case the uh, financial company. Okay. Do you guys agree? Mm -hmm. Do you agree? So mitigate, <clears throat> it means to try is to make something less severe okay um to make something um less serious okay so in this case there is a financial loss so we're losing finances we're losing money but we're trying to make it as less as possible. So yes, there will be loss of money. That's that's unquestionable. You you're going to lose money, but it's trying to make it as less money as possible to lose. Okay. Is the are are the words clear for you guys? Yes, we understand this or no? Yes, I got it. Yeah? Okay. All right, so what I'm gonna ask you guys to do is you're gonna be discussing these two questions uh, with um, a group, small group as usual. And then you're going to be sharing with the class your discussion. Okay. Okay. Uh, did you receive the... Yes, I had the picture in the WhatsApp group. Wonderful. Okay, great. All right. Can you guys please turn on your camera um, so that I know who's actually here and who's going to be participating <clears throat> so I can put you guys into breakout rooms because that way I'm not losing too many people. Uh, Emerson? Oh, okay. Okay, now I can see. This is that for a moment. I couldn't see your, your camera. Okay. Amanda? Sandra, are you going to be participating? Mauricio Antonio? This moment, I cannot participate. This moment. Okay. All right. Uh, Kevin, Kevin Alfredo.
and Jose Salvador. Jose Salvador. Edwin Antonio. Yes, John Troy. You you're gonna be participating? Yes. Okay, perfect. Thank you. <clears throat> um Nelson, Nelson Alberto. Nelson Alberto. Carlos Ernesto. Carlos Ernesto. Eulises Torres. Teacher, no, I couldn't because I, I had a network. Sorry. I have a net uh, a bad network. Oh, you have bad network. Okay. Um. Wait just a second, guys. Okay, so I'm going to be opening the groups. Um, and I'm gonna give you about five minutes to discuss the two questions. There we go, let's open the groups. I uh, don't look, don't look information in Google. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Okay, yes no, yes, no. The question is, uh, the first question we had to speak about about the first question, right? Yes. How 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 would you define how an inadequate crisis management plan? ¿Cómo definir un... ¿Cómo podrías? Sí. Definir una crisis inadecuada. ¿Mm? Una crisis inadecuada. Crisis, una crisis inadecuada. I think all crises are inadequate. <laughs> No, no, the, the question is uh, uh, management, management, right? L management plan in effect. I think uh, if you have uh, if you you are if you are a manager uh, of the company, uh, if you have in this moment a case probably. How would you define inadequate crisis management plan? So it's it, we we say a crisis. Remember um, that to remember that word, we can think about like when somebody has um, a crisis, they 
get so frustrated that sometimes they cry, right? Okay. So a crisis. Okay. 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 But for me, it's a, uh, I say uh, a few minutes. Um, is is a a bad plant? Yes, the for the uh, for example has uh different rules uh, that you does uh, necessary for the the different situation. Yes, for example, if I I don't know if I have a a plan for the a brigade for the fire 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 brigade, and the, I don't know you you put in the different steps or the different rules, and in, in when you have a, a for for example evacuation. And you put in this statement or in this calls or in this rule the other situation that not is exactly for this uh, situation. Yes, it's not property for the any crisis or any problem or any situation. For me, this is the inadequate. Okay. In my case, uh, I believe that an inadequate crisis management plan would be, for example, when when there is a, a different emergency, right? And so we have to be prepared with different team and different rules, different step for each case, right? We cannot try to solve the problem in the same way because different accident uh, should have different actions. Yeah. In this way, I define that the first scenario. I don't know if anybody else wants to share something about it. Yes. Or let's to the second. Okay. Good. Uh, luck. Um... Okay, go ahead. See, Fred. Oh, yes. Or, or, uh... or Merson. Hello. <laughs> well, I, I think uh, as already mentioned, I think also when the plan does not meet of the objectives and uh, having a bad planation and the don't achieve the goals. And uh, in this situation we 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 can say uh, the situation determine um, impact for the crisis and the time crisis occur. No. Okay. Uh, maybe. Uh, and don't determine the impact. Mm -hmm. uh, determine an impact for the crisis but in this case is a, 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 what do you think that is a bad a, plan yes because it's a, it's a inadequate inadequate Maybe in this case you can say that uh, don't uh, don't determine uh, the impact uh, correctly when uh, make a plan. I think. I think. Okay. I, Sorry. I don't know. It is right. Eh, 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 you are. Oh, ando perdida. No sé. Dígame. Ah, you are saying the correct way. 
But here the question is that you define the the wrong the wrong way the inadequate uh, plan that some company can take in a crisis. Ah, en la compañía. En la compañía. Sí, pero es que. Va, o, dice, no ente, o quizás quizás no he entendido muy bien el concepto, algo así va. Lo que, que dice, pasa es que la definición que nos dio es de qué es un plan. Eh, ajá. De, eh, pero lo que pregunta es por, o cómo considera que un plan sería inadecuado, o sea, que no serviría o no sería funcional. Mm. Uh -huh. Entonces, ¿Qué, ¿qué sería concepto un plan que tiene no usted de, de un plan como mal ejecutado? En una crisis, o sea, lo malo sería, ¿qué es lo peor que podría un grupo de una compañía tomar en alguna emergencia? Uh -huh. O sea, la definición de, de eso. En mi caso, para mí es to... Pero... Uh -huh. So, you can use TIFF for that word. Uh, it's Robert with double B. Robert, man. This is if. Okay, all right, guys and girls. So it seems like um, everybody should have finished discussing. So tell me, in, in your opinion, how would you define an inadequate crisis management plan? What's your definition of that? Or you have no definition of it. Um, to be honest with my partner, we were talking about uh, some scenarios about uh, bad idea <laughs> mm -hmm. or something or bad um, indication when some crisis appears in, in some moments. So we're talking about, uh, for example, when the uh, earthquake is feeling, uh, you have to use the elevator, something like that. It's not an inadequate, it's an inadequate uh, suggestion because you, you, you don't have to use it. Mm -hmm. uh, because we were talking about some example about that, but we don't talking or we don't uh, make um, a definition. Okay. Definition. Okay. But uh -huh. if if I can say some definition is when the plan about you know, different crisis maybe is not a uh, is not a good idea or it's not the good the good path to follow uh, because if you do it you can uh, get a serious problem uh, instead to avoid it mm -hmm. okay maybe that yes okay very good very good thank you uh carlos mauricio what about the rest of you what do you think Teacher, I, I want to give you an uh, idea. Okay. Uh, for, for example, uh, 
uh, bad, manage, bad management uh, uh, crisis can be if uh, if there are fire in a factory, if a fire is caused by electrical problems, it's no idea say the people que uh, uh, apagar. I don't I, I don't know how to say apagar. Well, apagar fuego. Oh. oh, maybe. Well, in this case, it's because it's it's um you you only turn off when it's like electricity. Mm -hmm. Uh, but in this case, um, because it's fire, it's put out. Put out. Yeah. Okay. It, 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 it's, no, it's not a good idea. Say the people put out uh, water. Yes, because the fire is caused for electrical problems. See, if the people do that, maybe uh, your people die. Everybody. So put put it put it out with water. You meant okay. Is that is that what you're saying? Ah yes, you said uh, put out water. Yeah, put it out with water. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yes. Right. Put it. Put out. Yeah. So okay. Got it. Got it. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. That's that's very good. So you some sometimes you have to um, identify what's the origin or cause of the problem okay very good sure translator uh when i write in the translator uh fuego the translator is turn off the fire turn off the fire is correct no you, you put off sorry you put out you always put out fire when i when i uh if, for example, in my house, when I, my kitchen, when I, when I apagar el fuego la cocina. Oh, eh, okay, so in that case, oh, in that case, it's turned off because we're talking about um, something like electrical. You can control it in that, in that case. Because yes, yes, because the, we have control. Uh, mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, so it, it depends on what you're talking about. <clears throat> but if it's a fire, like uh, a, an uncontrolled fire, you're going to put it out. Put it out. Yeah, you put out. You put out a fire if you're trying to control the fire. You turn it mm -hmm. off if it's something that, like, uh, the fire is... Um, um well actually but then and, and even in that case you don't it's not fire it's not really fire it's it's a it's a flame it's not a fire yes flame flame is yeah. covered work yeah it's a flame it's not a fire it's a flame and or 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 it's a burner one of the two if it's gas then it's a flame if it's electrical it's a burner so you turn yes. off the burner. Mm, or in this case, actually turn off the heat. We would uh, we would correctly say turn off the heat. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Anything else, guys? Yes, teacher, me. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, maybe is when the plan uh, don't consider all the possible risk and don't have a, a possible solution for each a risk that uh, they can have in the company. Okay. Okay. Very good. So not considering all of the risks. Very good. Yes. Good. Anything else? No? Okay, what about the next question? Could a lack of communication cause a crisis management plan to fail in mitigating financial loss?
Yes, definitely. Because the information is very important when we have to take some decision in more when we are talking about money. If mm -hmm. we don't know the whole information, we could lose the whole money or just uh, a part of it. But uh, when you have the whole information, is is the best way to 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 invest the money. Okay, so we need to communicate in order to get all of the information. Yes. Okay. Yes. Definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Anything else? Any other ideas? What do you think? Mm. How do you think lack of communication can affect? Well, teacher, I I think in, in this case, the, the communication uh, is a very important in a in an organization. Uh, I mean. If the company don't have a, a, a good communication, then they can they can uh, achieve the goal, the goals and maybe a lot of the clients in, in several cases. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, any other ideas? In my case, means definitely could be affected because you can get a fancy plan, the best plan, but if you don't have a good communication with your coworker, maybe when you have to apply your plan in the real life, maybe it doesn't work as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Yeah, good point. Okay. Anything else that you want to ask about? Is there you want to um, share? Yes, uh, the problem is that if uh, the people don't have good communication, uh, only people uh, follow differently objectives or solution for the problems. Mm -hmm. okay. okay all right very good everybody so um so we can we can safely say that it's not only to important to make a crisis management plan but to make sure that that plan is adequate and that we have the right communication with all the parties involved and all the right information too, right? Because if we don't have that, even if it's a good plan, it might be a, the best plan, but it may not control that particular situation, right? It can be the best plan in the world, but if you want to control a specific situation, we got to make sure that it's the right plan for that particular situation. So speaking of that, we're going to have, we're going to talk about some vocabulary that is related to this. So let's take a look at the words here. Uh, we have the word update. Drill, Actually, press release. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We have press release, mitigate, stakeholder, and spokesperson. Do you have any questions about this vocabulary, like what they mean? Maybe update. Yeah, so update means to have um, information that is current, okay? So it's the, the latest information. Does that make sense? 
So to give an example, imagine that I, I, I recently changed my cell phone. Okay. Um, and I don't have the same WhatsApp number. It, then I have to let my superiors know that I have changed my telephone number so that they can, uh, they will be able to contact me. And um, in this case, uh, put me in the right WhatsApp groups, you know, with my new number. That's update. So I have to give them my current um, information, the latest information. Okay, good job. Anything else that you are wondering about? Um, the second one, drill, and the number five, the stakeholder, and is book. Book is no, I don't know how to pronounce that. Spokesperson. Oh, yes. spokesperson. Okay, oh. so drill is like um, a. It's an activity for practice. Uh, like, uh, for example, sometimes you may have uh, earthquake drills. Earthquake drills are um, a, an activity that you, you make with, like, for example, your, your, the employees in your company to practice in case there was an earthquake. Yeah, so we're going to, we're going to imagine that there's an earthquake. What are we going to do? So you do the practice so that you are prepared in case that happens. That's a drill. Maiden, maiden uh, training, something like that. Kinda, but it's this is just it's for, it's for practice. They it's get some the skill about a, a specific situation. Not skills. No, 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 no. It's not skills. It's just practice for, um, like I said, imagine, imagine we're going to practice a, that. Um, the procedure a, to be followed in an image. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So imagine uh, we're going to practice that there's an earthquake. What are we going to do? Okay. So let's all pretend that there's an earthquake right now. Um you know, okay, uh, maybe the the you alarms go off. This, you have to use this this place, go down, and all yeah. together in this point. Right, so that but is not not deal. just talk about it. Actually, do it. Ah, right. okay. That's that's so, a drill. That action, that action is is drill. Yes, it's the practice, ah. the actual practice, not speaking. It's doing. Okay. Okay. Yes, I, I remember to to hear that word, but in construction. Ah. In construction is make a, oh, make a yeah, yeah, yeah. In that case, so yes. For that yes. reason, I was really confused, but yes. I understand what is the and, meaning now. Yes, and you're English. right. In yes. that case, it's a it's a verb. But in this in this particular situation, it's uh we're using it as a noun. Adjective. Noun. Ah, okay. As a a noun. noun. Yeah, okay. a drill, a drill. Okay. okay. Thank you. And clear. the other word is spokesperson. Spokesperson is like um, a person that has been chosen to speak on behalf of the company, to represent the company. Ah, okay, okay. Okay. It's clear. It's clear. Yes. And before that, a stakeholder? Oh, a uh, stakeholder is a person that has um, some uh, some personal interest in a company. So they um, they are interested um, in what happens in the company because they have interest in the company. Maybe they are uh, the manager. Maybe they are. Um, they have invested money in that company. So they are interested in everything that happens in that company. Okay. Okay, got it. Thank you. Okay. 
All right, so can you match the meanings with the terms? Um, yes. yeah, so, for example, the yeah, hold, stakeholder. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna, I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of chance to do this and then we'll talk about it, okay? So you guys can do this. I'll give you, I don't know, about two, three minutes and then we'll, we'll do it as, together as a class. Teacher, have a question? Mm -hmm. I don't understand the word, the word drill. When can I use this, this word? It's a noun. So we can say we're going to have some drills this Drill. morning. Okay, we're going to run some drills this morning. Mm hmm okay okay or yeah we're running a drill tomorrow mm -hmm. okay so it's a, it we use it as a noun if it, it can be a verb but in that case it's a different meaning and it's just like like you know in construction where you you use a drill to to drill <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Okay, are we ready to check now? Yes, no? Mm, in the WhatsApp group, I can see it. You can see what? The picture. Uh, no, I, no, but I'm asking you if, if we can check. Can we check the answers? Okay, 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 sorry, sorry. No, no, Ray, I'm not ready. That's okay. Can we check the answers, guys? Okay. All right. Can we check it or no? Somebody needs more time? Okay. 
All right, so let's see, update. Which which one means update? Bringing someone up to date. Right, very good. Bringing someone up to date. Okay, drill. The practice of the procedure to be followed in an emergency. Exactly. So, like I said, I was giving you an example. Imagine let's let's imagine we have we're having an earthquake. Okay, what are we gonna do? Like, so we actually practice. What would we do in that moment if that were to occur, to happen in the workplace? Okay. All right, press release. Official statement. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Issued to a newspaper with information on a particular matter. Right, very good, exactly. Official statement issued to newspapers with information on a particular matter, okay? So that's a press release. So um, that's, uh, yeah, it's basically, it's it's what you want the, the newspapers to say. But that is right. Yeah. Hmm? Sorry? Is such an advice in the world. Advice? Something like that. The, the mm. number three official statement. No, it's not advice. It's basically, it's it's what you want the newspapers and uh, news reports to say about you. It's like what you have decided to declare to make like, to make a a statement about. Maybe an official report. Yeah, but yeah, it's an official report that you want the newspapers to write about. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, or, yeah. or, yeah. So to give an, an example, imagine that I am a, a celebrity, okay? And uh, there is a rumor about me, okay? There's a rumor, I had, there's a rumor uh, about something I did. It could be true or it can be false. So, there's a big scandal that happens. My um, the, the press release would be the official statement that I give about that scandal. Maybe I can say, you know, oh, no, that that's a lie. You know that 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 had never happened. And please do not be uh, don't don't believe everything you read you read or things like that, something like that. Or I can say, yes, you know, this this did happen. I'm really sorry, blah, blah, blah. I can, so it's a st statement. So it's a statement that, it, that I, I want the newspapers to write about what I say. Okay. okay. All right, let's go on to the next one. Uh... Uh, mitigate. Mitigate. Lessen the gravity of our, of our crisis. Exactly. To lessen the gravity of a crisis. So if there's a crisis and you mitigate, means that you're trying to make it less serious, less harmful. There's always going to be harm. There's always going. It's always going to be serious, but you're going to try to make it less, as less as possible. Stakeholder. A person with an interest or concern in a business? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Stakeholder is the person that has an interest or concern in a business. So they are interested in what happens in the business because um, they're part of the business in some way. So it's 
it concerns their life. Maybe they have uh, money invested in, in that, right? Or for some reason, it, it concerns them. And finally, spokesperson. Spokesperson. Yes. Spokesperson. Someone engaged or elected to speak or on behalf of others. Yeah, very good. So the, the person has been chosen. Um, they have, they're engaged or elected. So it means they're chosen to speak on behalf or in representation of others or, in, or a representation of a company. All right, questions about this? No questions? Okay, all right, so now we're going to do the following activity. Okay, so it says, follow, the following are the steps to take into consideration when developing a crisis communication plan. Discuss or order with your classmate. So we have actually five steps here because it goes on to the next the next uh, page. Okay, so we have three here and two here. Still can't see it very well. Anyway, okay, so the idea is this. You're going to be discussing with your, with your classmate um what is um the order in which you think would be the best way to deal with um a crisis communication plan okay so we have practice and, and drill revise practice and drill again identify the crisis team develop communication processes and protocols Select the trained spokespersons and don't forget it, um, social media. Do we understand those, those steps? Sorry, teacher, I don't understand. Uh, you it's, didn't understand the vocabulary this? or the instructions? The instructions. Okay. So um, you are going to be talking with your classmate about the, the, the steps that you have to take in order to create a, a crisis of communication plan. Okay, you're making a crisis communication plan and these are the steps. There are five in total. We have practice and drill, revise, practice and drill again. That's one step. Another step is identify the crisis team. Another step, develop communication processes and protocols. Another step, select and train spokespersons. And the last one, don't forget about social, uh, don't forget social media. So you're gonna discuss with your group which one should be number one, number two, number three, number four, two, number five? Putting in order. Yeah, putting them in order, exactly. Okay, thank you, teacher. All right. Any other questions that you guys have? No, teacher. No? Okay, so I have sent in the group 
the the five steps and you're going to be putting them in order all right uh and i'm going to create right now the oops Okay, if, I doubt it, but if in case you end up being in a group where you are the only person in the group, um, please let me know and I'll come over and, um, and I'll help you out, okay? But I, you should have at least one or two classmates, okay? Here we go. Let's open the groups. Edwin Antonio Emerson. I think the first step is identify the Christ team. I don't know what you want to think. Mm hmm. Is an is in or is it is an order, right? Oh no. No, you have it's to put it in order. Or yeah. You have to put it in order. According for me, for me, the first place, uh, number four. Number four. Yeah. Select the, select the train spokesperson. No, this is number three, no. Nope. Practice and read is number uh, three. I am agree with the yeah. first one. Identify the crisis. It is this is number one. Mm 
identify the crisis stream, develop the communication process and protocols. I think it's just bad. I, I think that, that could be the third practice and really revise. Uh huh. Number Maybe. Two. Yes. And number four, four select the spokesperson. Mm -hmm. And the last one, don't forget the media. Yes. I think. Yes. Now, what do you think? Yes, I agree. That's good. Hi guys. Hi. Yes. Yes. How are you doing? Hello. Hello. Can you guys hear me? Hello. Hello, teacher. Okay. You can hear me then. Hello, teacher. Okay. Um, <laughs> everything is okay here? Yeah. Are you and good? this moment, I'm reading the information. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, are you working together? you understand what you have to do? Yes, no. And in this moment, no, please. And this moment, and so with Siegfried and the other Carlos and was the other cohort, uh, no listener, the other company. I'm sorry, husband, I didn't understand what could you repeat? Okay, uh, in this moment I are uh, reading the information, the the analyze, analyze the the position, the the money crisis. And with the the claim is if read or the order no 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 connection. Okay, so you're only working with Sigfrido, is that correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, what a, so, but we understand this, it's okay? Sorry. <laughs> Do you have questions you want to ask me? Something I can help you with? Not really. <laughs> you're really thinking about the, the priorities of the stars. Okay. So, but you understand what to do? Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go in and see if I can help the other groups then. One page, and I and I, I want to see both parts. Yes. Okay. The, the first is practice and drill. Yeah. 
Por abrir el droid en el game. Uh -huh. eh. Identify the crisis team. Identify the team. Develop communication process and protocols. And select and send spokesperson. Don't forget social media. Okay. <sighs> I, I, I need to, to understand step by step. Uh -huh. uh, practice and droid and re re revise. Yes. I don't know how to how we have to pronounce that. Let, let me check. Revise, revise, revise. Yes, correct. Revise. Yes. Revise. Well, ah. Revise. Thank you. Revise, revise. practice, and drill again. So this is not the first one, and neither the last one. So it, it could be in the middle. I think the first situation is identify the crisis team. Identify the cross the crosses team. Yeah. Make a group of person that they have to 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 put in practice some some pro procedure, some procedure and protocol. The process and the protocol. So if you put it's like a job. You first select the person and then you made them a training. So in this case is ident identify the crisis team and then develop communication process and protocol. I think maybe that is the way. I I, I, I don't know, but but I but for me it's different. Mm -hmm. The the okay. first and the second step are mm -hmm. different for me because I understand in the first step uh, mm -hmm. we had to practice uh, all learning. Yes. But, uh, okay, I understand that, but who teach you? Who teach you? Yeah. Who, who, who teach you? Okay, lo aprendido. Mm -hmm. so okay. Did you want to practice first? Somebody had to teach you something. Who teach you? Mm, who teach you? Si ¿Quién te enseña? Si quieres poner en práctica en algo, alguien te tiene que enseñar primero. ¿Quién te enseña? Ah, ya entendí. Yes, yes. Yes, the, 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 crisis, the crisis team. Okay, so for that reason, for me, that is the first point. Yes, we, the first, is, the, the first is get the crisis team. The issue is momentum have initial statements for various scenarios written. Bet Bet what do you mean, better? I remember I read this word in a in a song of Eminem. At the moment, I forgot, but <laughs> but I remember once I I read that. It. There are a lot of new words. Let me try. Okay. Examinar. Examinar. Uh, yes, examiner. Okay, and approve well before they are needed. Okay. Okay, maybe in this case, I uh, mean, uh, review the the information. Yes, and the situation at the same time. Yes. Okay. That's it all. Yes. yes. Okay, so you guys are ready? Yes. We believe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good. Okay. I'll see you in the main room then. Okay. In a moment. Okay, perfect. Okay. See you.
Okay, so let's uh, check out what you guys discussed. Can you guys see my screen? Yes, I can see it. Yeah, okay. All right, so let's discuss what you guys discussed in your group. So from these ones, which one do you think is the, the first step? Well, identify the crisis team. Identify the crisis team? Yeah. Yes, I, I agree with them, with me. Yeah? Everybody agrees with that? Yes, it's Chef. Yes, I agree. Okay. So let's put it number one. Okay. Number two. We consider is developing communication process of the protocols. Develop communication processes and protocol. Yes, I agree with him. You agree with that? So you think this one's number two? The proven procedure that is practice yes. and real. Okay. What do you guys think? Mm, for me, it's the band of communication process mm -hmm. protocol. And every with Carlos. Okay. Uh, let's do a show of hands. So who thinks that this one would no, sorry. Who do you think, who says that practice and drill, revised practice and drill again would be number two? Put up your virtual hand. Okay. What about a develop? Uh, Christ develop communication processes and protocols. Three people. Okay. Who has absolutely no idea what we're talking about? <laughs> really bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay all right so it seems like by vote of hands we are going to say that this one's number two okay a what about number three what would be the third step practice in real Revise practice three again. Do you agree? Yes, everybody agrees. I know Sigrid agrees. What about the rest of you? Do you agree? I think it's the practice and real, revise and practice and real again. Okay, so it sounds like you guys agree with that. So let's put that number three. Uh, what would be, would be number four? Select and train spokesperson. 
Select and train spokesperson? Yes. Yeah. Carlos, do you agree with that? Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Okay. All right. Everybody agrees? Yes, I agree. Okay. And the last one, number five. Don't forget to put the Don't forget social media. Okay. Very good. Don't forget social media. Monitor the monitor the channels and be prepared to respond quickly if an issue again gains momentum. Have initial statements for various scenarios uh, written, vetted, and approved well before they are needed. Okay, so it's interesting because if you remember, we actually talked about these about two days ago, if you remember this. And back then you decided that it was important first to develop communication and processes and protocols. And, and then identify the crisis team. But now you've, you've noticed, right, that it's, um, it's important for us to have a crisis team. We can't, we can't move, we can't make decisions if we don't have a crisis team. So that's, that's like the number one thing. You have to have a crisis team. You cannot make decisions. You can't decide what's more important if you don't have a crisis team. Because then who's going to make the decisions? Right? Who's going to give ideas? We have no one to give ideas if we don't have first a team. So this is definitely the most important. First, you have to get your team together. Once you have your team, then we can make a plan, which is this part right here, right? Develop communication processes and proto uh, protocols. So that's the plan. And then after that, we can execute the plan, which is number three right here, right? Once, you, once you've decided what your plan's going to be, what the process and protocols, let's put them into practice, which is number three. After that, we, after we, see that this actually works like we've seen that the practice works okay let's now start talking to out people from the outside of the organization which is this part right here use um, selecting the spokesperson this is going to be the person that's going to talk to people outside of the organization about the situation and of course um, after you've talked to people outside of the organization, there's going to be social media, right? Like the responses from the newspapers, from, you know, from readers, ex from listeners, et cetera, et cetera. And so that would be the social media part. So, yeah, very good. All right. Bravo, guys. Good job. Good job. So now that we have that done and over with, um let's make a design a basic crisis communication plan for your company okay so choose a company and you're going to create the plan based on those five steps okay so step number one, step number two, step three, step four, step five. Okay. Does that make sense? Yes, no? Yeah. 
So we know what the order of the, the plan should look like. Now let's let's put it into practice. Let's actually design what it would look like in real life in your in your your company. But of course you're gonna just choose one. And that you can't choose all the companies. You're just gonna have to choose one. All right. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put you guys back into your um into the same groups that you had you were in before. And you're just going to develop this plan based on these five steps. Okay. Are you guys ready? Yeah. Okay. All right. So I'm going to give you about 15 minutes to work on this. All right. And I'm going to open up the groups again. Okay. Same groups that you were in before. Now, now we can. Uh, maybe person in charge could be the boss of the area where the crisis is happening. You can repeat, please. Hello, group. Hello, group. Hello. Hi. Uh, what happened here? Uh, I think the other partner is still up for a second. I think he goes to natural cold or something. Sorry, sick, please. I, I, I couldn't hear you very well. I think that your teammate is it up for a second. Oh. Probably the natural calling. So. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, Josman, Jose Salvador, Carlos Ernesto, Sandra, are you guys there? Hi, are you guys there? Hello, teacher. Yes. yes. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. And Jose Salvador, Carlos, Ernesto, Santa, are you there? Hello. 
Okay, well, at least we can work there with Rosman, okay? Do you guys have any questions? Anything I can help you with? Uh, uh, I think we think uh, we go fine. It's okay. Just we, are, just we are filling the the graphics and then we are going to do the, the role play. Okay. Yes. But All but right. we are good, teacher. Thank you. All right. Good, good. Okay. Okay, so now is the point fine is mm -hmm. Pero, but in this scenario we are doing following. I don't know if we do in separate way. For example, the operator of refrigerator is a part of the team or or is the second one? For example, we say that the second step is develop communication processes and protocols. Yes, for this for this reason, I think uh, putting in this step because the operator is uh, the first uh, person that need to communicate to the manager and yes. the, or ma ma maintenance. Yes. Maintenance. And the, the, these three people are, main, are the team. Maintenance. Yes, the, main, maintenance. Main, maintenance. Maintenance. Yes. Okay. <laughs> A mí se me quedó esa palabra hasta cuando me dijeron que después de la T tenía que hacer pausa. Maintenance. 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 No. Maintenance. 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 Okay, el, el, es, el, la segunda eh, sílaba es, es solo un sonido, realmente no es una sílaba, es un sonido, es mm, mm. Entonces es... Main. Y ajá, ajá, very ajá, good. Like Maintenance. Maintenance. Yes. Maintenance. Yes, Maintenance. Like Mains, Nens. Mains, Nens. La, la última la última sílaba es la, donde les, uh, donde lo está cortando es okay. entonces la última sílaba es nens nens entonces me nens me nens right okay yeah okay so this is the team right yes okay in the second step, develop communication process and protocol. Yes. In this case, we have to, to call the operator of refrigerator. I don't know if that is maybe <laughs> uh, only operator. Yes. Okay. <laughs> in, in in this step, 
when the power outage, we have to call to the operator. Mm. Para que Op venga a revisar. Operator. Operator. Thank yes. You. Mm -hmm. But the operator maybe is who identified the the problem or not? Yes, the yes the real problem. Because we know in basic that the power outage, but the operator is going to identify where is exactly the fail. Yeah. In this case, is uh, okay. What do you read? Okay, I mean, the operator mm -hmm. should have to identify the real um, identify, identify. Uh, the real I don't know yeah. that if it is correct way teacher yes if I teacher no, no I'm here teacher, it, <laughs> okay it's correct uh, this should, should have, have to identify Should identify. Only should. Yes, because have to is a is a model is a modal auxiliary and should yes. is a modal activity. So you can't have two mm -hmm. modal auxiliaries. So okay, should, never two modal together. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Should identify, because at, no, not should two should identify. Okay. Sure. Ah. Yes. Only should should you know, Okay. Only should only should identify eraser a a eraser a yes should identify the crisis the crisis yes should identify the crisis and. To the manager and for the company of electricity crisis, not crisis, crisis. Okay, okay. thank you. Thank you, Nikate. Oh, okay. To manager to the is I have a after the two have initial statements maybe is... maybe you you can do the report for the boss or the person in charge of the situation and the, explain this the yeah. reaction has to be immediate in, immediately maybe you see uh, I don't know. Um, For example, in in my job, the channels that the per the 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 team for crisis reacts with the, the, the British. The British uh, is in charge of the situation, different situation, but it, it is in case of the. Accidents or fire, their shaker. How how, do, how they communicate? Mm -hmm. Miss, I don't know if I understand, but uh, about, but. The social media is the channels that they will communicate, right? Or am I wrong? Maybe Telegram, Instagram. Uh, yeah, so yeah, like Facebook, Twitter. Um, yeah, mm -hmm, those would be. But the company, if the company have a financial problem, don't. Don't publicate the 
this situation. No, but they, they, they can communicate by email. It is a social media too. Maybe. Or email. WhatsApp. Uh -huh. More private. 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 Mm -hmm. Um, but, but this is, okay, so this is, second, uh, so this is a crisis communication plan, so this is communic, this has to do with, uh, a crisis in communication. So most likely this is going to get out into the public. So if it's out in the public, you're gonna have to uh you're gonna have to people are gonna know. They're gonna like, I mean, we're living in the world in, in an era of, of of communication. So everybody, if if something internally happens, almost all the time they're gonna find out. So it's better to um, keep people in the loop of what's going on. Yeah, even if it's not something that public, but you know, just yeah. If there was like a like a problem, a crisis in the company, it's better to address the problem. I understood that according to the text is monitor. The challenge that me, I mean, uh, you, you can need you can need to revise the different different challenges to the communication. Maybe circuito cerrado. I I think cameras. It, it could be if, if the informations uh, got out of the control, but if you check uh, for example facebook you watch a uh how do you say i forgot how to say a uh, noticia news if you you have suddenly a news of your company appears in facebook but you don't know yeah. maybe yeah that's why it, that's why it says at the end, it says, have initial statements for various scenarios written, vetted, and approved well before they are needed. So in other words, because we're living in the world of, of communication, these things can get out, right? Like a crisis can get out. And if, if that happens, you have to know what to do on social media. Like, what are you going to say if in case this happens? Does that I, make sense? I I don't know if, if it is what could be an example, but some month ago, I, I saw a, a news that informed that Microsoft had problems. So they fired a lot of people maybe that kind of information it could, could be. be yeah it could be um i mean there's so many things that could go get out right it, yeah it could happen so you just have I, to the monitor you have to monitor the the social media the social media to make sure that whatever the information is out there that it's controlled and because, yeah does that make sense i, I think uh, there there could appear news that are fake too just to sabotage your company right yeah of course yeah you to, to, to have you need to have a, a quick reactions with that false news exactly yeah yeah exactly all right. Uh, sounds good. Sounds good. Yeah. Okay. 
All right, guys, so um, I'm actually going to take you back to the main room because uh, our time is up. Okay, so I'll see you guys in the main room. Okay. Thanks, Amos. ¿Qué pasó, Osmar? Tuve problemas y me sacó de la de la plataforma la acabo de volver a conectarme. Oh, okay. Okay, we're we're bringing everybody back. Okay. Okay. Um, all right, guys and girls, are you finished? Is everybody yes, finished? Yeah. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay. We finished. Wonderful. So we are going to be presenting uh, next class, which is going to be on Monday. We'll be presenting what you guys talked about with your groups. Okay. Uh, right now, I'm just going to be taking the attendance. So um, please open up your microphone when you hear your name. Um, Ana Lorena Lobato Orellana. Present, teacher. Carlos Alberto Dominguez Martinez. Carlos Alberto, Carlos Ernesto Hernández Cepeda, Carlos eh, Mauricio Mejibar Caballero, okay. eh, Edwin Antonio Quintero Somaña, Edwin. Eh, Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Present. Thank you. Ulises Torres Torres. Present. Thank you. Iliana Rebeca Calderón. Jorge Antonio Sánchez Quiñones. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Bernardo López Montes. Present, miss. Thank you. Jose Carlos Argueta Romero. Present. Thank you. Eh, Jose Salvador Bernal Quintanilla. Present teacher. Present teacher. Thank you. Um, Jose Manatilio Serrano. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Juan Carlos Herrera Delgado. Juan Carlos Herrera. Kevin Alfredo Lucero Menéndez. Mauricio Antonio Velázquez. Thank you. María Cecilia Peña de Aparicio. Nelson Alberto Peraza Mejía. Osman Enrique Hernández. Present teacher. Thank you. Rafael Alexander Serra Díaz. Rafael. Ricardo Ernesto Pérez Acosta. Ricardo Ernesto. Sandra Vigail Bonilla Cano. Sigfrido Ernesto Gómez Guinea. Thank you. Eh, Wendy Maricela Ramirez Guevara. Present teacher. 
Thank you. Mina Elizabeth Berenga Rivas. Mirna. Irma Evelyn Rodríguez Torres. Amanda Leonela Zamora Miranda. Present teacher. Thank you. Eduardo Antonio Magaña Monterrosa. Ok. Bueno, chicos, entonces eh, sería todo para el día de hoy. Si hay alguien que necesita eh, alguna ayuda, quiere hacer alguna pregunta, pueden, um, eh, pueden quedarse. No hay ningún inconveniente porque la persona que le tocaba hoy no está. Así que eh, si desea alguien quedarse, con gusto lo atiendo. Y si no, pues solo acuérdense que hoy terminamos la sección 3, por lo que ese fin de semana necesito que terminen la sección 3 en la plataforma. Así de que acuérdense de eso porque ya solo nos queda una semana más para completar la sección 4 y el, y el final exam. Entonces, eh, si ustedes pueden también avanzar con el final exam, sería muy, mucho que mejor. ¿Ok? Así que eso sería todo, chicos. Have a wonderful weekend, okay? And I'll see you on Monday. Thank you, teacher. Thank All you. Right. Well, weekend. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye, me. See you on Monday. See you Monday.